Mad Dog is flying solo today. Where is your partner in crime? Merrill's setting up at the uh, Brown County Fair. We have a great cook-off today and uh, at the county fair at Brown County. And it starts uh, right around 10 o'clock. The guys are setting up and the ladies are setting up for the cook-off. And it's, uh, the judging's around 12, 30, 1 o'clock. So if you want to get out there today, it's, it's really a fun time at the Brown County Fair in general. But the cook-off, uh, one of the categories is American bison. And the other one is sauerkraut is a side dish. Okay. So we're going to take this empty bowl and fill it for a flavor. I love it. You know, and bison, bison, American bison is wonderful. And you can go up to the apple orchard in Oneida. And uh, we're going to be at Apple Fest, by the way, September 22nd. Okay. In, at, up in Oneida. But they have a beautiful bison. They grow their own, raise their own bison there. And this is a couple oh. pounds of beautiful American bison. It's heart, heart healthy for you, lowers your cholesterol. It fight, helps fight and prevents cancer. It's high in iron, uh, potassium, magnesium. It, it's just wonderful stuff. Mushrooms, fresh basil, green top onion, uh, uh, banana peppers, wow. just sweet, and some chives. Look at that color, too. And, uh, yeah, and, and antioxidants, just hollering at you. <laughs> so we're going to blend that all together, and I'm going to make some stuffed burgers. We're just going to put a little shot of our garlic barbecue sauce in there. And just a little shot of our herbal uh, nature's garden, which is an herbal teriyaki, and uh, just a little shot. And I'm just going to mix this all around and get these all nice and, and pushed together. Mm. And we're going to make some beautiful bison stuffed burgers. Now, when you're doing bison, it's so lean. So I did a burger back here, and I'm going to take these mittens off for a second here, and I'm going to show you. I took and hit. I got one side turned on. Okay. I seared the bison burgers up. I'm going to do the same thing with a New York strip of bison. Wow. You sear things up, move it over where there is no heat. So this one here has been on for maybe 20 minutes. And it's just mm -hmm. delicious on the inside. It could cook a tad bit more, but I wasn't sure. So all we do is treat it like a little roast. So I'm going to put this back on, put the hood down. Sear it up, move it over. There's no reason for dried cuts of meat anymore. And I wish you could smell it because it smells phenomenal. Yeah, and the, and the, uh, the New York strip of bison, and with all, even when I patty these burgers, I put a little oil on my hands when I patty them because they're so lean. Mm. So everything needs a little bit of glistening of oil over the top. We're going to season it with a little bit of grandma hazels. And that has garlic, peppers, onions, fennel, dill, celery, red pepper, green pepper, onion. And we're just going to throw that nice little New York strip on the side where there's heat. I'm going to sear it up for about two or three minutes on both sides, move it over where there is no heat, put the hood down, and in the next segment we're going to show how to do all the fall, fall vegetables from the farmer's market. And these this are beets, just, by the way. That's beautiful. Golden, golden beets. So today you're going to be at the Brown County Fair. You have to come see them. It's only $5 to get in, so that's pretty sweet today. What's Good. on CW14? CW14, we were at the T-Rats. Timber Rattlers a couple weeks ago, and it's a great show, all on tailgating. There's a little cook-off going there. We help judge. Fun show, fun show. Fun show, fun show today. Smelling great out here. Stay with us. Good Day Wisconsin's going to be right back.